Welcome back to Ford Field. Welcome back to State Champs. Use whatever adjective you prefer to describe the playoff road that took Plymouth into the state finals. I call it the most improbable in state history. Most people figured Lake Orion wouldn't get here after they lost their starting quarterback due to injury earlier in the playoffs, yet here they were. Both teams won their respective semifinals in the last minute of play. We knew this, whomever won would hoist the hardware for the first time ever. It's only fitting this Division I showdown is our total healthcare marquee matchup. In just their sixth year as a varsity program, Plymouth finding themselves in the finals. Taking on a team with recent history at Ford Field, Lake Orion back in the title game for the second time in three years. After starting QB Sean Charette broke his leg in the regionals, backup Cole Schenzer has flat out got the job done. Three plays later in the senior on the design rollout, just getting the ball across the goal line. 46 yards in five plays, it was 7-0 Lake Orion. A slow start, but the Wildcat offense showed some life late in the first. Sean Austin connects with the senior and Michigan recruit Brennan Byer, 24 yards into Lake Orion territory. At the end of the first, Wildcats down seven, but threatening. The drive would stall, but not before our recent student athlete of the week, Kyle Brenza, booting the 43-yard field goal. Plymouth on the board, down seven to three. The Lake Orion ground attack clicking on all cylinders. This is the 5'5 senior slot back Dimitri Hudson hitting the hole and busting loose for 42 yards all the way to the Plymouth 5. Next play, running back Marcus Stevenson with a three yard spurt. Lake Orion up 11 at 14 to three. Still in the second now, Dragons again driving. Schenzer only completed one pass on the day, but it was a big one. Here connecting with Ney across the middle, 40 yard completion to the 36. Back to the running game, Stevenson had a pair of scores in 180 yards versus Cast Tech in the semis. The trap play here, untouched. Lake Orion now up 21 to three. The Wildcats shell-shocked and trying to muster up a two minute drive at the end of the half. Austin going deep for Jacob Morris, but Dragon senior defensive back Zach Zott with the INT. Lake Orion led 21 to three heading into the locker room. Let's play 24 minutes just like we did the first 24. Harder to help giving them nothing. You gotta earn everything, you understand? Right? Max against Walker, put on a gas pedal and attack what they do. But following a Lake Orion three and out to start the third, how about this to get the Cat fans crazy? Kyle Searley shanks the putt, Plymouth's Victor Hicks decides to pick it up, and holy shnikes, turn in the corner, nothing but daylight. Incredible 46 yard touchdown, Plymouth back in it, down 21 to 10, heading into the fourth. Plymouth driving for another score. Austin had 138 yards passing on the day. Here complete to Bayer for 16 to the Dragon 14. But Plymouth would have to settle again for the field goal. The Notre Dame recruit Brinza nailing it from 28 yards out. Wildcats down eight. But the real key number of the game, 307. That's how many rushing yards the Dragons gained on the afternoon. This was third and 15 with three minutes left. Stevenson seals the deal with this 40 yard run. He had 186 yards on 27 carries. Lake Orion 21, Plymouth 13. Dragons first ever football state time. Our total healthcare marquee MVP and the winner of the emergency car survival kit goes to Marcus Stevenson. This is your first state title. How does it feel? Oh, it feels great. I mean, it's nothing better than putting in all the work for your whole high school career and paying off in the state championship. All right, well, congratulations. The marquee matchup is presented by Total Healthcare. Totally there for you.